So today I have a very important video guys for the young students out there, whether you just got into med school or you're young, first year, second year, third year, even if you're even older, you still have time to use some of these uh, lessons. But of course, younger students are going to use them the best. So please focus. If you are new in med school, you have to watch this till the end. I didn't really have a mentor, you know, when I was young. So I really had to go through the trial and error in order to arrive at the conclusion that I've arrived. And basically, this conclusion is going to be seven important, valuable lessons that I've learned and accumulated over the past couple of years, almost six, seven years, even more, because I have been studying since high school. So these lessons also apply to that. So the first lesson, the number of hours you study does not correlate and it's not directly proportional to the amount of information that you'll learn. You have to drill this in your head. You know what the number of hours directly proportional to? Burnout, stress, cortisol level secretion in your blood. This is what's directly proportional to the amount of hours you put in. You know, I have a lot of people who brag about, about how many hours they study or you know, these YouTubers study 10 hours with me, study 12 hours with me. You know, I'm not saying these people are scammers, but there is a problem. These people are probably like postgraduate or PhD or people who are very well practiced, very well put together to the point that they are capable of studying 10 quality hours at the same time. As an early year med school student, you don't have to do that. Trust me, you, you really don't have to study 10 hours a day in order to prove yourself. You should worry more about the quality of your studying more than the number of hours specifically in the early years of medical school. And as you grow up, the curve will get bigger and bigger. So you will improve. So you will study more as the time goes on. But you should not worry about the amount of hours you study. You should worry about the quality of information you got in. How, how much you really understand the subject. How much you really gained or gathered from this book right here. So this is the first lesson. The second lesson is a medical student job is to learn. You know, you might not realize that, but really all what we do in med school is just to learn. We learn new subjects, we become better learners thing. You should just focus on learning how to learn, how to study properly. That's important. I wish somebody have told me, spend more time learning how to study instead of studying. This is very valuable for the young students as well. Please, please, for sake of God. Specifically, if you want to go to the U.S. and practice medicine there, you know, people there are very competent and they know how to study, how to learn. So you got to be able to do that as a med student. This is the second rule I learned, okay? What you should focus on during early medical school is the quality of your studying and how do you learn properly. Third lesson you should learn is long-term memory beats the hell out of short-term memory. Small amount of information, long-term, beats the hell out of information, a lot of information, short-term. Let me tell you why. The interesting thing about medicine, and also the, a little bit annoying thing about medicine, is that it's accumulative, okay? So whenever you're learning stuff, you're gonna, you're gonna use this as a building block to build something on top of it. So if you have this base weak and just short-term memory, it's just gonna collapse. You just, the whole building is going to collapse. So you need to make sure that you got this whole building in a good location, right? And you memorize stuff long-term, even if it's going to compromise the amount of information you gather over the years. Trust me, when you focus on retaining information long-term rather than short-term, you're going to beat the hell out of the student that, you know, maybe scores higher than you, but he, you know, crams a little bit and he studies at the last minute. Maybe he's going to beat you in med school, but you're going to beat him becoming a doctor later, which is the most important, which is why we got into med school in the first place. So just please, guys, just focus on how to get long term memory. OK, please. Lesson number four, acing med school exams is very different from learning medicine. I know we all are medical students. We all love getting high grades, right? The best grades ever. Yeah, I know this is like ingrained in our DNA, but you should know that acing med school exams is very different from learning medicine acing medical school exam is much easier than learning medicine really what you need to do in order to ace med school exams is just you know to ask older peers about what topics uh, were most 
test it on. You could ask the professors as well. You could solve previous exams. You could do a lot of like low quality stuff that could get you the score that you want in med school. On the other hand, learning medicine is very difficult and very important and it's much more tiring, right? Which is, you know, it depends on long-term memory, critical reasoning, analysis, connecting the dots together. It's just a lot of work. And you should know that these two are very different from each other. Lesson five, do not get caught on academic subjects, the details of academic subjects. Let's say you're learning anatomy, right? And you're learning brachial plexus. I know that you're gonna, you know, try to focus on the little nerves that are the brachial plexus and miss the fact that the brachial plexus is a bunch of nerves that, you know, supply this neck and the upper limbs. I know we tend to focus on details and leave the big picture, but trust me, what you're gonna need in clinical medicine is much different than what you're gonna need in, in academic medicine. That's why I, I'm telling you, acing med school exams is very different from being a doctor. So please, you don't really need to learn all the brachial plexus nerves. I know you need to learn that for your med school exams, but you know, just cram this part. You know, I need you to focus on the big picture. Okay. Lesson number six, clinical medicine is based on the cellular and molecular medicine. You know, the best people I know that really nail the clinical part of medicine are the people who really nailed the clinical and molecular part of medicine. The best people who learn renal, like clinically, are the best people who learned water balance in physiology, are the best people who learned electrolyte balance in physiology are the best people who learn about, you know, small gap junctions and aquaporins in the, ch you know, channel stuff, are the best people who understand the function of ADH, uh, the antidiuretic hormone, etc., etc. So in order to learn clinical medicine, which is going to come later, right, fourth, fifth, sixth year, you're going to need the physiology, biochemistry, and that stuff. You need to know exactly how to study this well and how to correlate both clinical medicine with academic medicine. So you need to, whenever you need to think about symptoms, let's say pain, you need to associate the pain with how the pain feels exactly. Like how does the nerve transmit pain? How does, you know, pain killers work, et cetera, et cetera. You should focus on the molecular part before getting into the clinical part. The last lesson I'm going to summarize this video with is med school is a marathon, not a sprint. And this is obvious, right? It's seven years. It's a lot. In, in, in America, you need eight years to become a doctor. So that's a lot of years. And you need to be able to recognize the importance of burnout and how burnout really could affect you and destroy or either, either destroy or make you, right? So that's why I'm, I'm talking about all these things. Just climb the ladder very slowly. Don't rush yourself in, in med school. Take your time in learning how to learn properly and then how to learn physiology and then learning physiology and then studying physiology and then applying physiology. Take your time. Do not rush yourself. Do not focus on the amount of hours in the beginning. Focus on how to study quality work. One hour a day, two hours a day. Beautiful. If it's quality, that's beautiful. Two hours a day as a young medical student. Later on down the line, you're going to find yourself six hours, seven hours with the same quality. Otherwise, don't do it. If you can't study a six hours quality work, do not study six hours. Please just drill that in your head and you will learn that later on. I'm telling you because I care about you. I was once a young medical student and I know what works and what does not. So please just study one hour a day perfectly. Quality no nailing whatever you're studying if you're studying physiology nailing you could just say exactly and explain uh, what you learned and apply what you learned and solve questions based on this one hour you've learned or you studied okay so that's it guys i hope you enjoyed this video thanks so much for watching and please like and share and subscribe if you like this video thanks so much